okay, I've got it, I've got the goods, and now it's time to go get my nails done. I'm outside my dentist, and I just got my Invisalign. Starting off with these pajamas that I'm actually wearing right now. These are so cute. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Now if you're wondering where I am and if you've noticed that I'm in a car but not my own, a lot of you will know that I did actually get my car stolen. We got burgled about like a month ago now and I've only just been given my courtesy car. It's actually really nice and I will show you when I get back. I feel like I'm really scared to drive it. I've only driven it once though and it's so different to my car. I mean it's an automatic, it's not that hard. I know how to drive so I mean I'm not that worried otherwise I literally would not drive. But it's just really weird driving in another car. But I'm definitely not going to vlog whilst I drive. I'm actually heading to the nail salon this morning. I need to get my nails done so bad. I'm desperate. And then I've got some really, really exciting meetings in London. Oh my goodness. And I've just forgot. I've actually left something at home. I've left my manager's present for Christmas that I need to give her today. And I'm so glad I vlogged. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even have remembered that. Okay, I've got it. I've got the goods. And now it's time to go get my nails done. Update everybody. So so I have got my nails done. I'm trying to turn off this music and I actually don't even know how to in this car. Hang on. Well, hang on. There you go. Right. I have just got my nails done. They look super natural. I'm actually not sure how I feel about them to actually have them completely stripped back. But my favorite nails ever is just when I see like girls with just the most natural nails. I envy them because I don't really like the look of acrylics, if that makes sense. Not that I don't like them, but like... Well, basically, whenever I see someone with natural nails, I'm like, oh my god, I wish they were mine. So, I've always wanted to just get natural nails, but I've never really done it. But I feel like these look really cute. I feel like my mum's going to hate them. <laughs> I'm now actually going to go get the train to London. I've actually got a quite exciting day today because I'm getting my Invisalign, which I can't wait for. A little bit nervous because, obviously, they are really painful the first couple of days. And I've never really had toothache or anything, so I don't know what it's like, but I know that it's meant to be really, really, really painful. But... I did speak about this in a vlog a couple of days, no, no, a couple of vlogs ago. Um, but this is what my teeth currently look like. So they aren't like not straight at all. Like I actually do have quite naturally straight teeth. But it's just these two kind of come forward. And my bottom teeth, like they aren't they aren't the same level so that is why I'm getting an Invisalign and I actually cannot wait because for me like I would never get veneers or anything because I'd love to keep my own teeth and at the same time like with your natural teeth you can do so much now like with Invisalign with bonding with whitening and stuff and I've always dreamt of having like the most perfect teeth but at the same time I want to keep my own so that is why I'm getting an Invisalign down and then after that I just have a few meetings and stuff which I'm excited for but also I'm excited because I don't need to spend the whole day in London it's quite early in the morning so by the time I get back um it will still be daytime I can still get stuff done and it's gonna be quite nice because I haven't managed to do anything the past couple of well the past week because I have been so unwell like sick in bed every day haven't been able to move I went up to Strictly for the Friday and Saturday but I was so ill like in between acts and stuff I slept like I felt horrible and today's like the first day where I've started to feel better but that's also another reason as to why I haven't been vlogging that much because I wanted to vlog like every other day and that was my plan but then I ended up getting sick so so that didn't happen so that's where i've been i've been ill in bed and i'm feeling a lot better now and i'm gonna go to london i need to stop rambling on let's go to london with the present that i cannot forget for my manager that actually isn't joe malone but it was the only bag i found that was big enough to carry the present right let's go okay i'm outside my dentist and i just got my invisalign i don't actually know if you can see on the camera but i thought they'd be like really painful and they're actually not so very happy i feel really weird though i feel like if i have a lisp all day i'm so sorry got my maps up i need to go and walk to my next destination i'm gonna go and walk to my manager's office now and get some meetings done i'm so happy i'm so excited and actually jed he's getting his invisalign sub by dr richard on wednesday and he also can't wait so you watch us a couple of months we're gonna have the straightest teeth sitting here at my management's office and i am here an hour early which never happens my manager Rebecca I was so confused she came when I was sitting in her sitting in her chair while she went and got her lunch but we have just exchanged Christmas presents haven't we yeah, excited she wants to open it now though I'm like absolutely not happening but I've got mine in here they're gonna go straight under the tree another day in London and meetings are done 
day went really well and I'm very excited for 2020. It's gonna be great, can't wait. Meet you at home, see you later. <laughs> this is my new car by the way guys. My new car that isn't actually my car. To show you from the front. This is my courtesy car, look. Pretty nice for a courtesy car. Happy with that. Yeah, boy. <laughs> everyone I have woken up feeling on top of the world I feel a hundred percent okay I'm feeling better it feels amazing I can't even tell you like even yesterday I felt so much better than I have done that entire week I was actually okay to go out and go to my meetings but I still felt like a little bit rough this morning I've woken up I'm so happy I feel great literally the best the best feeling like I feel like we don't actually appreciate how lucky we are to just feel okay and to not feel sick and to feel ill so now I feel like I really need to make the most of my day and be productive and just have a great day because of that reason because I'm feeling better after all of this time yeah just really 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 happy and I thought this morning what not better than to actually give you a clothing haul from Miss Guy did I ordered a big parcel of clothes and I've gone through and I genuinely love every single item I'm so excited to show you Starting off with these pajamas that I'm actually wearing right now. These are so cute. They're a little bit too long because I'm five foot two. That's what happens every time I order pajamas. But they are so nice. I feel like they look really luxurious, like really expensive. And when I went downstairs a minute ago, my mum, she literally fell in love with my pajamas. She wants them so bad. They do them in like a camel, sort of like nudie, sort of goldy sort of colour. And they're so nice. I was so unsure on which ones to get. But I think I might actually get those ones for my mum for Christmas because I feel like pajamas are always such a cute Christmas idea and I love them she loves these so I might get her the black ones but the camel ones are so oh they're so nice as well but I'll pop a picture so you guys can see let me know which ones you think I should get for my mum for Christmas but I'm gonna give you a little haul of some bits that I got from Misguided starting with actually the entire outfit that I was wearing yesterday the entire outfit is actually from Misguided I got so many questions on my social media what coat it was this big fluffy coat here that I am currently obsessed with is misguided the one I wore yesterday in fact actually all of my winter coats that I've been wearing this year are from misguided and they're so affordable my big like brown teddy in fact I'll pop it just anyways but that's from misguided and I also have it in black as well and it is genuinely and I'm not even kidding you the warmest coat I have ever worn in my entire life like I wear that one every day because it is so warm this I mean it's still really 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 snug and warm this is also my new little my new little fave addition to my wardrobe so cute does not go with the pajamas whatsoever love this so cute so before I get loads of questions on this vlog where that outfit was from everything was from misguided this is a new little addition to my wardrobe and I love it so much the polo neck like white rib top was also misguided same with my black jeans and actually talking about that can I just say misguided genuinely do do really good jeans because I really really struggled with jeans I liked the do you remember when everyone used to wear the Topshop Joni jeans and they were like super stretchy but then I feel like everybody had them so everybody was over them but I feel like misguided are like nicer versions of that because they're like stretchy but they're still like a jean and actually I did order some other jeans that I've still yet got to try on but I've actually ordered these before one's really similar from misguided and they're really nice and these are like the wet looking jeans but I thought these ones were really cool because of the zips that they had on them and it's really funny because I don't know if anybody watches The Real Housewives but it's a program that my mum and I have always been obsessed with and the other day I was on the train and I met Dawn and she was wearing these jeans and I thought they looked so cool so yeah I thought I would pick them up myself I love them they're gonna look so cool I feel like this could look really cool with anything like I would wear this with uh, like a jumper whether it's like a crop top but I think mainly I would wear this with boots more than anything but yeah these are probably be more like going out sort of jeans for me and I'll wear like regular jeans in the day I'm desperate to try this on I feel like you can't actually see how nice the color is on the camera so we all know that I'm obsessed with suits my favorite thing ever to wear I just feel like anybody can rock a suit they're just so trendy in fashion cool you can wear suits with trainers now you can wear them with heels dress them up dress them down so I ordered this coral suit love 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 the color especially for summer like cannot wait to wear this having said that I'm gonna wear this all year round but this is what it looks like and it's such good quality like I was pleasantly surprised with this I love like the little bit of padding that it has in the shoulder but not too much because I hate when there's no padding but then I hate when there's loads because I always end up ripping it out I know that's 
sounds really stupid, but if you like love suits like I do, you'll know exactly what I mean. I love this suit. It's so cool. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> love it. So it's like for that. So another thing I got was this cute little body. Thought this was so sweet. I would actually wear this with like even joggers. I'd wear this with joggers. I'd wear this with jeans. Pretty much wear it with anything. I just love the design of this to be honest. I thought it was really cute. Really excited to wear this. I would even wear it with these. I got these joggers. Again, I really struggle to get joggers. Most places where people get joggers and they wear them on the internet, I hate them on myself. You think that a jogger would just fit anyone, but I'm telling you now, they don't fit me. They never fit me around the um the bottom of my leg i have like so much muscle on my calf so like joggers never fit the bottom and it's so annoying but they fit perfectly already tried these on i love them they're so comfy as well again actually i'll pop up a picture of me wearing these joggers and i wore i tried these on together which is why i said they'd look really cute but again you could dress this up wear this anywhere next up i ordered this top in two different colors because i loved it so much um and it's this sort of like corset top. I love the whole corset look. I really think it snatches your waist. Everyone needs that in their life. I really feel like this suits me. This is like my fashion at the moment. So I got this in white and I also got it in black and I'm excited to wear both. Like genuinely cannot wait. I tried the white one, haven't tried the black one yet, but I know it's gonna look so good and I'm so excited. I love these. I love these tops so much. Genuinely, if I could design a top, it would actually look like these two. So I love them that much. <laughs> Then, just because I said that I love the jeans, I got some blue skinny jeans. And they look a little bit like this. Also, do you remember the stage that I went through and I wore those baggy ripped jeans like non-stop? In fact, I still actually wear them, but they're from Misguided. I remember the amount of people that bought those jeans after I bought them. Because they were just the best fit. Like, it's that same thing with like baggy ripped jeans. I can't just buy normal ones because my calves are too big. But the ones from Misguided are unreal. I remember I was absolutely obsessed with them and then that's when i started trying their skinny jeans so i was like hang on if these fit me maybe the skinny jeans will so that's where i fell in love with those and then this is the white rib top that i was wearing yesterday misguided it's really great for like basics and stuff like that and then the final thing that i got but i'm really sad because it doesn't fit me so i'm going to order a size up is these leather shorts they are so so nice like i love leather shorts they're not obviously actual leather but the ones that look that sort of like wet look leathery material i think these are like the nicest shorts they've been around for years i used to wear shorts like these all the time and i've always tried to look for some yeah misguided have literally just bought these out they're so nice i need to get a size up because they do actually come up quite small just to just to let everybody know i want to wear these on christmas day so with like a nice little red top you know so i'm gonna order these in a size up but that that's everyone Ah, it's my huge misguided order and I'm actually so happy of everything that I ordered. I feel like I got a lot of wintry stuff there which is great but at the same time I can still wear some of this stuff for summer because I'm actually going to Barbados in what like 11 days which is crazy so I'm still trying to like summer shop whilst I'm trying to winter shop but things like this coral suit because of the colour I can still actually wear it when I'm on holiday so that's pretty cool. Can you say hi to Safi's vlog? Oh, look, Harlow's in the Christmassy spirit. What's this? What is it? Do you know what it is? A reindeer? Good girl. I just went and took a picture in that orange suit because I loved it too much. And I will actually pop up a picture here of me wearing it. Just went out of mum, took a picture. I tell you what though, it started raining the second we went out the house. And it was horrible. And it's so hard to get a picture like in such dull lighting. So whoever thinks it's easy and that we just take one picture, I never do. I always take like at least 50 before I get it right. But went out, did that. And I'm back in my pyjamas. Because honestly, for the rest of the day, I'm just chilling at home. And Harlow here aren't you Harlow yeah. your little brother's here who else is here <laughs> Lake and your daddy yes daddy, yeah and no mummy's not here is she where's mummy where is she oh <laughs> she's looking out the window for her little lake here he is oh my goodness he's so much bigger now i mean he's still tiny but so much bigger and here's champ there he is and i'm getting dragged to go somewhere basically harlow's gonna go lock me in a cupboard now oh no she isn't that's normally her favorite game wait where are you this is like what is this room harlow in fact this room is merch room i've got new merch you guys have gone crazy for it and these are just boxes of merch do you want some? Okay. She looks a little bit confused. What is it you're looking for? This one? Yeah. Casey, put it on. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so nice. Are you here? Carla, let me see you, ready? Wow, you look like you're wearing the cheese. Oh, 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 oh,
Well, that was the cutest thing in the whole world. Literally, I got in and I got mobbed by little kids. It was the cutest thing ever. And they had a billion questions to ask about Strictly, my life. It was just the sweetest thing. Mommy. Um, and up there, yeah, one of the girls goes, what do you do with all the money that you earn? It's just quite funny what little girls say. Um, but anyways, update. I'm an Asda. I'm doing my local food shop in some long knee high boots. <laughs> I do not look like, and a little fur coat. Yeah, do not look like I should be doing the food shop right now. But because um, Jed and I are, you know, eating healthy and stuff, there's so much food that I need to get that we don't have at home. Got the goods, ready to go. Also, it feels so weird smiling with these in. Like, every time I smile with these in, I feel like really self conscious because I feel like my teeth are like, like, not, you don't even hardly there. notice it at all. No, you can see the little lines. Yeah, you hardly notice it. They're little diamonds. Don't do that. So much. <laughs> and don't do that in that dress either. So <laughs> Home and made myself some. Well, actually, I was gonna say dessert. It's not even dessert. It's a snack. Made myself some snack. I've got some raspberries and some yogurt. Gonna sit here and enjoy this. Dad has spent all day in Manchester. Just walked through the door. I go to Manchester tomorrow. Is Can you believe that? that? Yeah. I know, it takes ages, isn't it? It's it takes, really it's absolutely. such, it's so far from wanna, where we are, Manchester, wanna, so far. Let me tell you, this is not a cute angle whatsoever. But quite frankly, I don't have a tripod because I'm not a good YouTuber like that. And um, yeah, I'm balancing you on a suitcase that's like just leaning against the mirror. So there you go. But I thought, why not unbox, I don't want to get all the dress in it. Why not unbox my new YouTube plaque? Which I should have been sent actually ages ago. I waited a year and a half for my first YouTube plaque. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Guys, this is gonna be my fourth plaque. My fourth plaque and I've been doing YouTube four years. I mean, not gonna lie, pretty proud of what we've achieved here. This is actually so exciting. Do you know what's the most exciting thing about it is, it's for my vlogging channel. Like, we have over a million people that watch this channel, which is crazy. So I've just been rewarded the one million plaque for this channel. Currently, I actually have no idea where I'm gonna put it because I have three plaques above my bed I have my two 100k's and my 1 million for my main channel and there isn't really anywhere else for this to go obviously I am gonna hopefully be getting a new place soon in London so I'm gonna make sure there's space there but currently in my bedroom I have no idea where this is gonna go but this is so exciting <gasps> yeah oh this is just weird when I look back to think that I started YouTube four years ago I never in a million years would have think well would have thought that I would have had four plaques this is crazy 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 and they're beautiful as well. Although I don't think I'll ever have a 10 million one, but still, a girl can dream. Now, I just need somewhere to actually put this. I can't really have no idea. I'm gonna show you what I mean by if you don't remember what it looks like above my bed. Oh my God, I forgot myself. I actually moved them. They're not even above my bed anymore. They're here. Oh my God, so it can sit next to this one. But I feel like I actually need to put them on the wall. I need to get a space for this one and the next one. I have this, which um, YouTube actually sent me. They just randomly chose, well, I think they randomly chose chose because I don't know why I got it but they um sent some creators like ages ago some pictures of themselves that all made with comments actually all of your comments which is the sweetest thing ever and I genuinely sit there and read that whenever like somebody new comes and looks at it I genuinely read the comments anyway so there was three you wait this is gonna be the last time you're ever gonna see three here because I'm gonna put my second my second one here so there was three there's now gonna be four when I think about it it's actually mental I can't even thank you all enough for the love and support like I never in a million years would have dreamt of this I mean it's just it's just crazy I just can't believe it how far we've got on this channel the things that I've done like not gonna lie I'm pretty proud of myself for like today's been a great day and I never actually I'm not somebody that like looks back on things I always 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 want more and I don't think that's a bad thing because like when I say I always want more I always want to work for something new like I do something and I want to do it again better I think that's kind of what happened with the marathon but that's just kind of how my mindset's always been so for me like I reach a million and I'm like well this is insane okay let's get two like that's kind of like how my mindset thinks I always think oh you can do better and I never actually look back and sit down and think you know you've done this you should be so proud of yourself you never thought that you would have been able to do this so yeah looking back at it it's crazy and I know it might be a little bit cringe but genuinely it's really true like I never ever ever look back I'm always just looking forward which is a good thing as long as you have time to look back and I know that guys it's official my body is killing me. I did pump yesterday and Muay Thai today and they both kill on their own. So together at the combination, my arms literally feel like they're going to drop off. Like even just holding normal things are aching. So I'm actually dreading to see what they're going to be like tomorrow. But I'm going to wash my makeup off. 
that I would definitely need to do. Put my Invisaligns back in. It's actually really weird going to sleep in them, but actually even weirder waking up in them because when you wake up, I don't know, it felt really strange. Like, I don't think they hurt at all, really. They haven't hurt for me, but like, it's really strange. It felt like I just had something in my mouth that I wanted to rip out. And then like, I realized, I was like, this is morning. It was so strange. Uh, but oh, I'm holding this big bottle in my hand because I'm trying to drink one and a half of these a day. This is two liters. So that's a, that's a lot of water, but that that is what I'm trying to do. When I drink water, it clears up my skin so well, obviously as well as a good skincare routine, but water, life savior. I'm gonna wash off my makeup now and go to bed. Tomorrow I actually go to Manchester for something so exciting, a secret project I've been working on that I will get to tell you guys next year about, but probably not until like March, maybe a little bit before, but oh, I'm so excited. I actually can't wait. And I've been working my socks off with this project. I hate being that person that can't tell you. But anyways, good things are happening. Can't wait. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. Cheers to that. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.